an attacks on civilians today, and there's an expectation that those attacks could intensify. Uh, what's the latest on the military situation? Well, you, you mentioned just now the appointment of General Alexander Dvornikov as the commander-in-chief of Russian forces. What they're trying to do, essentially, is concentrate their command. Uh, up until now, they've been operating on multiple fronts, uh, and it's led to confusion, and the Russians suspect that that's part of the reason why the operation has gone badly. They're hoping now that, well, with the command concentrated in this way, things will proceed more effectively in the future. Whether or not that is the case remains to be seen. Uh, General Dvornikov's experience was exclusively in Syria, uh, where he was in charge of Russian forces, but the, the operation there was not uh, operating with multiple battle groups, but just commanding Russian air forces there. Total, totally different kettle of fish. Uh, on the ground here, the Ukrainians are well prepared. Their best forces are there. Uh, there will be numerical equality, or more or less, between the two sides. But in the meantime, what seems to be the case is that the Russians are trying to soften up the Ukrainian defences using artillery and multiple rocket launchers from further back. And, and as you mentioned in your introduction now, attacking military infrastructure like that airport at Dnipro, uh, making sure that the Ukrainians are not able to use that uh, to support their own forces when the Russians eventually start their offensive. Okay, our chief foreign editor, Rob Parsons, reporting from Kyiv.